I'm here on the football field with David Mathis, a junior two-sport athlete who plays both football and soccer. David, you're the fourth soccer player turned football kicker. Uh, what abilities from soccer help you do your kicks? Honestly, just kicking the ball every day. Like, it's just kind of natural. So, you know, Rudy emailed me, asked me if I wanted to kick. So, you know, why not try a new sport? And how was your first ever football game coming from soccer? And how do you deal with the nerves of that first field goal kick? Man, you just really got to trust your instincts and trust that you know what you can do and just calm yourself down in the moment. Like when you get back there and you get set, I generally take a couple deep breaths, get in, just get in the right mindset before you jog out, take the kick. Okay, and would you say that your preparations are like kind of the same for your football and your soccer pre-game? Um, a little bit, you know, starts with a warm up and then, but everything with football is consistency and everything with soccer is just like in the moment, what do you do when this happens, what are you doing when this happens? Football is just kind of like put the ball down and you do the same thing over and over again. So it's more repetition than anything. And once you get the repetition down, it just starts to become natural. All right. And obviously, these two seasons are going on at about the same time, kind of overlapping. So how do you deal with doing both sports at basically the same time? Man, it's a lot. Like, it's physically and mentally draining, but you, I just got to push through it. Like, all after school, football practice starts around 3. So I get out here, pads on around 3 and then kick them about until four and then go straight from soccer or football to soccer. We're gonna go over to the tee and try out some kicks. So what I generally do, I will go three steps back and you don't, you don't have to drag your toe. It's just something I do. And then two steps over. And then you wanna find Keep your toe pointed and finish up and through the ball. As we're coming back, you want to line that toe up with the ball, right? Yeah, so right. what I do when I do my steps back, I'll go, I'll take my three back and then I'll go toe, ball, field goal. So my toe's in line with the ball and the ball's in line with the center of the field goal. And then so I know I'm, I'm all straight and then I'll go my steps over. Okay. And then that's generally what I do. When you kick, where do you want to kick on the ball? You want to kick like lower down or farther yeah, up? Yeah, so you kind of, so like, this is like the fat part of it. You kind of want to hit just under the fat part. So just like right here, like around right here. So toe lined up. One, two, three. I'd say not as far back as you were. <laughs> One, two over. Uh -huh. And you just kind of want to make a beeline for it, right? Yeah. Like yeah. No, honestly, just make a beeline for it. Okay. So, here we go. It's probably not going to be very good. I was, in fact, correct. Hey, it's spinning, though. <laughs> like, when you hit the ball, you were kind of like this. So, but when you hit the ball, you kind of want to have your chest open and then here so you can drive your hips through it. So is that why your cleats have like that um, line? Or is that just kind of like that's just kind of That's what the cleats, but like it can, it can be on any cleat. So like I, you just, I find my spot, which is right on that. So the bone of your toe is kind of where you want to hit it. You just got to kind of feel around on your toe or in your foot and find the bone. And that's kind of the sweet spot where you want to hit the ball. Okay. So not really on that, like, skin underneath, but more the bone? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, David, for um, showing me how to kick a field goal. Maybe if I were a little better, 
uh, I would have been able to make it in today. So thanks again. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.